that, I recognize the ranking member. Good morning, and thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you to the witnesses for coming so early today. Um, in a couple weeks, Congress will recess and we'll all go home, meet our constituents, and hear from them about their priorities, including for this very committee. Ahead of those conversations, I'd like to share with you an interesting statistic about how the American people perceive relations between the U.S. and the People's Republic of China, the PRC. According to a Pew survey, 6% of Americans see the PRC as a partner, while 52% see the PRC as a competitor. The Select Committee is focused on winning that competition. We've explored the economic competition, both through the CCP's actions toward American companies and how we proactively can work with partners and allies and up our own game in America to increase our competitiveness and protect our interests. We've also examined the CCP's human rights abuses against the Uyghurs, and we're investigating how Uyghur forced labor infects supply chains and undercuts our Amer American businesses. This morning's hearing gives our witnesses a chance to convey what the Biden administration is doing to win that competition. And it gives the American people a chance to hear important questions about our progress, where we are winning, and where we are falling short. One question I hear from my constituents is the following. How do we avoid an open conflict with China? The majority of Americans see China as a competitor but they are concerned about that competition turning into a war. A survey from late 2021 shows that 71% of Americans are concerned about a potential war with China in the next five years. And as you can see from the slide above, this concern about a war is widespread, regardless of party. We don't want a cold war or hot war. We don't want an open conflict with the PRC. But we also don't want to see a continuation of the CCP's aggressive behavior, the type that we've seen over the past year. We've seen that behavior in three primary ways. Cyber attacks, aggressive military intercepts, and actions against American companies to harm our economy. First. We've seen CCP-directed cyber operations targeting American infrastructure and officials. In May, the New York Times reported an, a PRC hacking operation toward Guam, op, Guam uh, facilities owned by America. Just last week, PRC ac actors hacked emails of American officials, including U.S. Secretary of Commerce Gina Raimondo. These attacks are simply unacceptable. We need to know why we were not prepared and what's being done to make sure they don't happen again. Second, we've seen increasingly dangerous behavior in the Taiwan Strait and South China Sea. Earlier this year, a PLA Air Force jet intercepted a U.S. aircraft and a PLA naval vessel engaged in a da dangerous maneuver against U.S. and Canadian ships. These actions brought us just one mistake away from a deadly incident. It's important that we know how often these incidents are happening and what's being done to reestablish military-to-military -military communications so that the chance of war can be minimized. Finally, we're seeing actions by the CCP targeting American companies operating in the PRC, from forced technology transfer to state-sanctioned theft of US IP to cyber espionage and economic coercion. These actions are harming our ability to be competitive. We need to know what the government is doing to level the playing field to give American workers and entrepreneurs a fair shot at winning the economic competition while preventing a series of retaliatory actions that could severely impact the American economy. The American people never shy away from a competition, but they do not want a fight. I hope our witnesses here today clearly articulate to everyone listening at home our plan to not just win the economic competition and the global competition against the CCP, but to make sure we prevent open conflict. I look forward to hearing your testimony, and I yield the balance of my time. Thank you to the ranking member.